It's the Battle of the Beltway. Baltimore and Washington are underway. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. So here are the commanders making their way out. And a look at a guy, definitely got a little razzle-dazzle to him. Can do it with his arm or his legs. They're mobile QB. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. That's a good start to the ball game. Maybe a little bit of a tone setter offensively. They come out throwing right away, and it's an early completion and a quick first down. Throwing on first down, Daniels. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Second and 10. Looking to throw. Daniels. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, that was his first target of the game, and it's going to take at least one more target to get him on the board. Took a nice substantial hit to jar that catch loose from him. Incomplete pass. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. They'll look to throw again. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. They'll run for the first time with Austin Eckler. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Anytime they think they've got him open beyond the markers, you know they're going to throw it his way. And that's not going to change even after that incompletion was forced. Here's second and ten. Throwing again. Daniels. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. The kick by McManus is good. And the Commanders get out to a 3-0 lead. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Kick team out there for the Commanders as they send this one away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. 
They'll start by run of the option to the right. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Boy, the pursuit there, terrific from the linebacking core. Oh, it certainly was because so many times on an option play, you'll see a linebacker make a beeline for the quarterback and then zip, one cut, and he's grasping at air. But this time, he locked in on him the whole way, took an excellent angle, and his grasp came up with the quarterback. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. And we're going to see this offense try and spread the field a little bit and utilize the outside third of the field, especially against man coverage. But that time, the defense was up to the task, forcing the incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Jackson. That is caught. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. Here's Jackson to throw. That one into the hands of Flowers. Their opening drive here is going to result in a punt. They got seven yards there, but not enough. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Facing fourth down, Baltimore will punt. Jordan Stout out there. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. Thirty nine yards on the punt just two on the return and it will be Washington football now with a first and ten. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. They've got a three nothing lead and the football as they start first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Daniels. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Well, that's one way you take away a first down as a defender. Make sure you have a little bit of physical play when the ball gets to the receiver. Find a way to jostle it free. They caught him off guard. Forced the incompletion. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Operating from the gun, Daniels. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Running on first down, Eckler. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Looking to throw on second down. Daniels over the middle, brought in by Dotson. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Right 
Back to throw. Daniels. Dodson has it. Touchdown, Commanders. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Commanders are able to add on to that lead. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10 nothing early as they've got it first and 10. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry into the 22-yard line. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 22 now, here's second and six. Off the option, here's Henry. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down. But if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground. And that they did that time for a loss. On third down, Jackson. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. A first down carry for Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Nothing to score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down and eight. To throw is Jackson. This one caught by his tight end, Andrews. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 44-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Off the option, here's Henry. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Jackson. That is caught with Sean Bateman. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 25-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. 
Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. They go play action with Jackson. Complete to Likely. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Now it's Jackson. This will go to Henry out wide. And the Ravens are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Oh, the motion comes too late, and this is going to be a delay. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Still first down. The delay of game, a costly one, as they're backed up five for first and goal. Jackson from the shotgun. Got his tight end. That's complete. It's Andrews. Nice gain of eight that time, but it's second and goal. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. On second down, here's Henry. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Isaiah Likely from four yards out. And the Ravens are back within a score. No surprise there. Third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Washington offense set to take over. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Looking to throw. Daniels, he's got his man. That's Hurts downfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain there of 30 big ones. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. 
So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Back to throw. Daniels. That's complete to Austin Eckler, the running back. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll bring up second down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him? without weakening our overall defense. You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay, two for three thus far. This time it's third and three. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. The job of any linebacker involves having enough strength to fight off a blocker and get to ball carriers, but in this case, I think we can safely say he beat them right off the snap to get into the backfield and make that play. Eckler gonna get it again on second down. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to bring up a third at about seven left. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. To throw on third down, Daniels. And this is going to be incomplete. Fine work by the Baltimore defense to help bring up fourth down. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Now McManus will line up for the field goal. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. The kick by McManus is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. This Ravens offense heads back out there, led by Lamar Jackson. Last drive, surgeon-like, dare I say, seven for seven. That'll help your QB rating. <laughs> it will indeed, won't it? Can you figure out QB rating? Can you do I, it? Can no, you do the formula? No, I just know the higher the number, the better. Yeah, that's what I've been <laughs> that's told, what too. what I know. I know that in the NFL, 158.3 is the number they're all trying to get to. I think he was that on that last drive. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And that one too wide and incomplete. I like his awareness in the pocket there. Nowhere to go with the football. So instead of forcing it to the sideline, he's just going to put this one into the harbor and live to fight another down without getting wet. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Jackson. He's got his man. It's Andrews. 
Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Jackson looking to throw on third. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Jackson will throw again. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Oh, nice defensive effort there, providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver, separates him from the catch, and normally he's a sure-handed target. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Throwing is Jackson. And that is incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Henry out of the pistol, and he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. The Commanders back out late in this first half. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Throwing to start the drive. Daniels out left to Dotson and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. Now the commander is going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. First down, Daniels. Zach Ertz has it complete. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That's good for 28 yards. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. On the left hash, this from 48 yards. The kick by McManus is good. And now it's a two-score game at 9, 16-7. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And so time enough for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. So we come upon halftime with nine points separate. Apologies to coach. Cut him short. We'll talk to him post game. We got business to get down to. Third quarter action ready to go. 
and we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Raven offense set to start this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. and They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. From the 21, it's second and 10. Jackson, option right. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. He'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Here's Jackson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. On first and 10, it's Jackson over the middle, and it's incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. They go play action now. Jackson. His throw incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Jackson now. That is caught. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. They run the option here on first and 10. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. How about Jonathan Allen there pushing up field to make the stop behind the line? This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. 
That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw into the hands of Andrews. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Now they got to get to the 23 here on third. Now it's Jackson. And that will be incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Tucker's kick is good. And the deficit trimmed to six now at 16-10. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Tucker now following the made field goal, set to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. First possession of the second half now for Washington. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. So statistically, both of these offenses having a rough time getting a running game going. But boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling him behind the line, but you're right. You look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game to throw on second down. Daniels, he'll drop this one off to Eckler, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pickup there, 21 yards. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. On first and 10, Daniels over the middle, and there's a diving catch. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. And not all spectacular catches are the result of a pass that maybe was not thrown quite right. Sometimes it's thrown in the perfect spot, and you have to just go get it. And he did that right there. No fear there in the middle of the field. This is a counter play. Eckler. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. The Georgia man, Roquan Smith, came in and got him. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He turned that into a nice gain. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. From the gun on third down, Daniels under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. 
Justin Matabike working his way to the quarterback that time. And we all know how talented this guy is who's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. The kick by McManus is good, and that will make this a nine-point lead. So the lead grows here incrementally, but I think the way their defense is playing, you feel okay with just getting three. They've definitely been stout so far, but now that could all change because if one guy gets loose for 70 yards, this is a different game. But as it stands, field goals are good. Just keep adding to that lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. They'll try and get the run game going. This is Henry. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and three. Now Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Jackson to Andrews on that one. First down, Baltimore. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. It's the Ravens with possession of the football, but trailing on the big board as we get set for the fourth. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. This second and four. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? The Ravens on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. They're up against a third-and-one situation. They'll try and pick it up with Mitchell. Oh, he shifts past him. Ooh, with a juke. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. A big one there for the Ravens. It goes for 18. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 34. And now Jackson will look to throw it. A short throw caught by Andrews. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Jackson. 
He finds Aguilar over the middle. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. Now it's Jackson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 14. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. On second down, here's Jackson. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And the Ravens are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. From the gun, it's Jackson. This is caught. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Second and goal from the one. And they'll try to pound it in with Ricard. And he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. Patrick Ricard taking it in from a yard out. And the Ravens have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. And from the one-yard line, they didn't try and reinvent the wheel, do anything cute. They just gave it to the big back. You almost get the sense that if you can't get it in from the one-yard line with your big guy carrying the football, you'll question yourself the rest of the day. They got it done. Tucker with the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game. You're in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts as early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Looking to throw. Daniels. And oh, he coughed it up. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Well, partner, here's where team football gets tested a little bit because I know the defensive guys were over there chilling on the sidelines, and all of a sudden, they heard the sudden change call because that fumble puts them right back on the field. And they've got to go out and finish the game now themselves. Absolutely. Nursing that slim lead here in the fourth, a costly turnover. Yeah. 
After the fumble recovery, it's Jackson. On target to his man, likely. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Here now, second and four. They run over center with Mitchell. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great, because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. To throw is Jackson. A quick throw there is incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This for the lead in the final stages. Tucker's kick is good, and they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Now Washington down 20 to 19, 215 remaining. Plenty of time here. They've got three timeouts and the two-minute warning as they've got it first and 10. Throwing on first down, Daniels. Open man is the tight end, John Bates. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So it's Commander's football as we get back to it. Now second down and a few inches. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. That gets them the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. He's back to throw. Now, a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now, I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Another try, second and ten now. They'll look to throw. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Back to throw. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he gets this with the midfield before he's brought down. All right, let's just put it on the table real quick here. This is two-minute drill. you got to know they're looking for their number one receiver. Yeah, you think they'd be ready for that? That time, they weren't. 
They'll come up first and ten here. Back to throw. That's going to be caught downfield by McLaurin. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Eckler now between the tackles. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. Now second and four. Once more, here's Eckler. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. A big play here. Crowd on their feet. Third and four. Up the middle with Eckler. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. I'm a little surprised right here. They've got three timeouts left. The clock's running down, and they aren't using them. Those timeouts do you no good at home. Use them now. Now here's a timeout, as they will indeed call it with five seconds to go and a chance with a field goal to win the game. So this thing rests on the shoulders of Brandon McManus. From the left hash, this for the win. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So it's another field goal here. He may need to ice his leg after this one. That's now five field goals converted in this game alone. Yeah, get the trainer. They're going to need this guy. And they've needed every single one of the field goals he's made, too. If they're going to get out of here with a win, I say he gets a game ball. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. Well, this one, partner, was fun down to the very end. They got the points late right before the whistle. Then the ensuing kickoff. They were hoping for magic on the other side but couldn't get that spark. Fun if you won. <laughs> and fun for us because we got to watch it and call it. That magic that you were talking about didn't occur at the end, but what a game all the way through. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. From Baltimore, so long, everybody.